Hey, beautiful people, it's Rakeen. I'm back with another video. So on this video, I want to answer a question or I want to respond to a comment that I seen about somebody said that they were double dutching with a card right now. And somebody was asking, like, what exactly is double dutching? I can only assume that it's what I'm going to explain to you now. And if it's not what I'm explaining to you now and you see this video, please let us know what you mean um, by double dutching. But to me, double dutching is when you may have a credit card where the amount is due. So let's look at these credit cards. I want to give you good examples. So you may have this credit one bank credit card and it's maxed out, but you probably may not be able to just pay off your credit one bank credit card because you don't have the money really to spend that. You got to spend on some other bills. Maybe I had this problem before in the past. So what I used to do is I used to just find out what's the due dates of all of my credit cards. Now, if you guys have credit karma to find out the due date of your credit card, you can just call them. But I like to just look right here too. And the best way is to call them but let's look here and let me show you what I kind of look at. So the last day it was reported. I know usually credit cards are gonna report about three days, maybe four days after your bill is due. So right here we're seeing that it's April 7th is the time it was reported. So I'm only, I can only assume that the bill is going to be due on like the third or the fourth. That's the only thing I can assume. Best way to find out is to call Credit One Bank. And why I say that is because Credit One or all the companies, they usually report three days after your due date because that's when your, um, your actual statement will come out. And whatever is on your statement, that's what they're going to report. So like I said before, it was times when I was unable to pay off a credit card. So like for this credit card, we have to really worry about having this credit card paid off by the third or the fourth, right? Now with Credit One Bank or other companies, Check to make sure that they are going to change the balance on this as soon as you pay it. That's something that you want to make sure that you check. Now, usually like with my Navy Federal account, I go to Navy Fed. I can put it. I can uh, put money into my account do it, and pay my bill right away. And the money will be right away, uh, be available right away if I pay directly with my Navy Federal account. So let's just assume that when you pay the bill, that money is going to be available right away. Check with your bank. The money will be available right away and the balance will change right away. So in this case, I would tell this person for this credit card approvals me, I will make sure I pay the full amount, the five ninety six. I'll make sure I have it paid off by the third or the fourth. And then I know that they're going to report around the seventh because they report it on the seventh. Use they report on the same day every month. So I figured they're going to report around the 7th or 8th. So what I'll do is I'll know that I really don't have $596 to pay on this credit card. I'll put that money down, pay for it. And around the 7th or 8th, whatever I took this money from, whether it was an energy bill that I'm paying, um, whether it was phone bills, whatever I was going to use to pay this, most likely you're going to pay with your debit card. If you're not using your credit card, you're probably going to pay with your debit card. Whatever I was going to use this money for my debit card, I'll just use a credit card, but I'm going to make sure I use it after this date. Now, what this is going to do is, is it's going to make sure that it's only going to report a $0 balance to the credit bureaus, which should really boost that credit score up. Should really boost your credit score up. Now, you can see right here, they say you're going to get the five point increase, but I made a video for you all yesterday. If you just now seeing this video, definitely check out the video that I posted for you all yesterday where I was showing you how much the credit scores went up from her actually paying down her credit card. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So when you want to see changes to your accounts, go ahead and click right here with see, see what's changed. And then you can see like different changes that's happening. They actually don't have the changes here. I wonder why they took the changes off. Let's see. I wonder why they took the changes out. Check out the other video. You'll be able to see the changes because usually you'll be able to see all the changes here. It looks like they took them all out, but I'll have a pop up right here so you can see. They paid off the credit card and when they paid it off, their credit scores went up and it was only $65 and I think the other one was like $30 and went up 28 points and again, 30 points. So I was telling her, you know, with her utilization at 92% right now, paying down those credit cards can really increase the credit score. And remember that look again at that same account. I want to show you guys that same account again. They're only going to report to the credit bureaus once per month. 
So if you pay off this bill and they report to the credit bureaus May 7th, because you want to make sure you pay by the 3rd or the 4th, check with credit one, see when it is. You, you want to make sure you pay by the 3rd or the 4th. You're going to use it again on the 8th, possibly on the 8th. After they report to the credit bureaus that it's a $0 balance, that's when you can use it again. And they're not going to report again until the following month. So I think double dutching is when you're actually using a credit card, then paying it off. Using a credit card, but paying it off. And you're making sure that the credit bureaus is reporting a $0 balance. Now, let me give you another example with another credit card company, because I really want you guys to understand this. This would really change my life, seriously. And honestly, like, if I was to ever have this problem again with my credit cards, it's like this, I would do the same thing. Like I would just pay it off and then I would use the credit card on whatever I have to use it on, whatever bills. And then I'll go back and pay it off again. I just want to make sure the credit bills is getting a zero dollar balance reported. And I want them to make sure that they're reporting that. So now we have this one right here. So it's a $472 balance out of 500. So let's see when this one is going to report when it's due. So this one last reported on the first. So we can just assume probably like March 27th, March 26th, that's when the bill is going to be due. And that's when we want to pay off. That's when they should have paid off the uh, 472. So I'm going to think right now, like today is the 29th. They should have paid this full balance two days ago. You could technically still pay it now, possibly. Just make sure that the statement is not closed. I don't want to confuse you all. I don't want to teach you too much and confuse you all. But I was told, I would have told them to pay it off by um, the 27th of this month. And then we can assume May 1st, May 2nd, they're going to report it. And then after they report it, check on Credit Karma. Check, call it, um, you, or you can see when your statement is actually printed. Usually you can see if you got a new um, bill due and they say your new bill is this amount, or you, um, then you know that basically they already reported to the credit bureaus. Whatever's on your statement basically is what they reported to the credit bureau. So if a new statement has been printed for you, then you're okay to spend that money now. You have $500 available. But understand, again, they're going to report June 1st. So if you were to use this credit card again, after you max it out, if you were to use it again, then you want to make sure you have it paid off at least three to four days before this date. So you want to look again around May 26, May 27 to pay it off again. And to me, that's double dutching. You're jumping in, you're jumping in, you're paying it, then you're jumping out again and you're using it. You're jumping in, you're paying it, and then you're jumping out and then you're using it. I'm just thinking that's what double dutching is. And some of these credit cards, you guys, you don't have to pay off the full amount. Right now, she got small balances right now on these credit cards. So it's really nothing to me with my financials. It really be, would be nothing for me to pay this. But everybody's situation is different. And some of my clients got $20,000 balance. They can't just do things like this. But what they can do is they can make sure that they pay different bills based off of when it's due. So let me kind of explain that to you all. So we can see right here, this one is going to report on the 13th. So, so far we have a bill that's reporting on the 1st. We had another, we have a bill that's reporting on the 13th. And let me remember, when was that credit one bank report? It was reporting on the 7th. So that means that if we think of the due dates now, we think of how we're going to boost the credit score the fastest now. We want to figure out which one is going to report next, and that's going to be the one for the first. I kind of think we kind of missed that one. So we're going to have to just leave that how it is. So let's think about this one. This one's going to report May 7th. Right now it's April 29th. So this one's going to report May 7th. So we want to make sure we pay this full bill off. We're going to make sure we pay this full bill off now. Have them report to the credit bureaus. If you got it like that, just leave it paid off. But if you don't, you need to use it. Go ahead and use it. Go ahead and use it. And sometimes you may spend your, um, like, like I told you guys, you may spend your debit card on things such as, you know, your energy bill or um, maybe you use it for your car insurance, things like that. I want you to use, use the credit cards. So after that one is going to report, we're going to go ahead and use it after it reports. But we got to understand that this one is going to be on the 13th. So this one is going to be next. So any extra money that we would have spent on bills, we're going to actually use it to pay this one off next. And we want to make sure we have this one reporting a $0 balance. And when that report is $0 balance, we can use it again. 
And I figure around the April 3rd, well, May 13th, May 14th, we can use it again, but they have to make sure they have it paid off by like the 9th or the 10th of May. And I hope you guys are truly understanding that, but understand that this is the main thing with this. The credit bureaus is only going to um, get a report from these credit card companies once per month. If you pay it off before they report to the credit bureaus, basically pay it off by your due date. If you pay it off by your due date, you got to wait three to four days. Then you can use again. They're going to report that $0 balance or that lower balance. You can just pay $100, $200 on like an account like this. And she's going to see a great increase. But she can go and use that credit card again if she needs to. But she got to make sure she do, does it after they report to the credit bureaus. And remember, when they print a statement, whatever's on that statement, that's what they report to the credit bureaus. If you max out your credit card the day after that, pay, after your statement is printed, they're not going to report that to the credit bureaus. So I really want you guys to understand that. Hopefully this video was helpful and hopefully I get my voice back soon, you guys. Make sure you guys sign up for my exclusive credit membership where I can help you you guys learn about different things like this and I can also help you guys remove any negative accounts that you may have on your credit reports so that you guys can actually boost your credit score but I'll definitely see you guys in the next video and if you got any questions make sure you guys drop them down in the comment talk to you all later bye bye